I had black so we'll look at it from my point of view so normally in this position I play like knight here knight here knight here and I decided not to do that because his pawns on g3 so I played the more common castles and in this position for some reason GMs who play this with black play knight d7 first thanks KC Zat yeah Joel, no, Joel wasn't supposed to be playing. No. Um, and then they play this. Not sure, why exactly? But I played here, and then this has also been played. Okay, and here I thought a long time, and I played f five. I mean, the engine just says I'm lost because it's like a king's Indian kind of position. So it just says White's always winning. I always have these positions. I don't really mind. What more donations? Yay, thanks, T.O. Day. Yay, thanks for all the, the train stuff. All right. So I played F5. Um, yeah. I mean, the engine just never likes my position ever. Usually when Levon has these positions with black, which he does often... He plays king h8 and moves his knight to g8. So probably I just shouldn't play f5. That's probably, like, not good. It's hard to tell with the engine because the engine just says I'm lost. So. All right, he took, which is good. And then he played f4. Yeah, and here I'm already in trouble. I didn't know whether to play e4 or not. I decided not to because of g4. So he, I played here. After the game, he said, yeah, after h3, I think you should have played e4 because you're stopping g4 for the most part. And I said, yeah, I thought you were going to take this right away. And he said, oh, I didn't take that because of knight g4. And we, weren't, we didn't use a chessboard. I was like, knight g4? I mean, knight g4 just I mean, loses immediately. That's why he didn't do this, he said, because of here. What? Yeah, so I, he hallucinated, I guess. I don't know what he hallucinated. Like, e6 wins, bishop takes an e6 wins, taking here wins. Yeah, I mean, this is resignable. Like, I can't play knight g4. Um, dun, 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 dun. That's a good noise. I guess he hallucinated something. Why don't I see what happened? Is it going to happen soon, or I, what, what happened? What's going on? I heard the donation noise, but I didn't see. Oh, there it is. Yay, $50.99. EU friendly. Go, Ben. Checking the UK. Hooray. I need lots of donations for that stupid game I just played. So, yeah, he, I don't, he thought I was going to go here. Which, I mean, that's just, that's nonsensical, right? I mean, everything wins for, I don't even know what he looked at. I'm not sure. It could be he thought after here he could take, or I could take, and then play here. And then maybe he didn't like where his queen was. But this is resignable. I mean, he's got this. I mean, and then he could also just play, just take this. And then play e6, and maybe he thought this was good counterplay, but he just goes here. So there's there's nothing. So I don't know. He hallucinated, I guess. And I figured if he didn't play this, maybe he wouldn't next move. And I wasn't sure if I should go here or not, but I should. Now, my game is terrible, but not as terrible. So I put it in h to play rook here or possibly knight here. Wasn't sure yet. And then he took, which is correct. And he played rook a d1, which is good. He wants to go here. So I played this. That's fine. He played here. He wants the two bishops of what else. And I thought I was doing well here, but I'm losing. So my understanding of the game was wrong. And I knew it was wrong. When the game ended, I was thinking, I thought I was okay. But since I didn't understand the game at all, I'm guessing I wasn't. And I was right about that. Yeah, I mean, I just didn't understand the game. I thought I have a good attack coming, and I got this nice center, and he can't do anything. 
But his G4 idea just wins. I mean, just winning. And then he played this excellent move. And I can't move. I'm trying to move, but I can't. So I'm like, okay, get your knight. Let me, like, unpin my knight. And then I'll just play, like, bishop here, rook over. And I'll start attacking. And he can't do anything. And he played G4, which is excellent. And when I played A6, I saw this position, and I thought I had an ingenious move, but I'm just like an idiot. I thought this was ingenious. And now he's not on my knight anymore. Queen G6 is coming, and knight D6, and then the attack. Here comes my attack. And I thought I was better here, which doesn't make any sense, and I'm just completely lost. Like, everything that I said was insane. So he played the best move. And then I blundered. And after the next move, I knew I was lost. But here I was just like, should I take on g4 or play queen g6? And I liked my position in either case. But I'm insane. The reason I'm insane is because if I ever play fg, which I did now, then h4 just wins. I can resign. So it doesn't matter what I do, I don't have any play. He's got two bishops, a passed pawn. These pawns are weak. I can't activate my pieces. And I just thought I'm crashing through on the king's side when I'm not. So here I made a move and I knew I was lost. But I'm lost anyway. But I, I hastened the end. Yeah. Um, yeah, g4, etc. This guy's 2250. So let me tell you the story of Doug Eckert. This is Doug Eckert. I played him in the 1984 U.S. Junior Championship in Ojai, California. He was 19 and I was 14. He was slightly higher rated than me, I think. And he crushed me. And he actually had a great tournament. And then I didn't play him again until I moved to St. Louis because he lives in the St. Louis area. And according to him, although he, maybe he's exaggerating, I beat him 30 times. I don't think I beat him 30 times, but probably I beat him 15 times. We've played slow chess, blitz tournaments, rapid tournaments at the chess club in St. Louis and at the Spice Cup in, in, in Clayton, Missouri, and I've won every game. He's never drawn. So I've won a lot of games in a row over seven years. I won from 2010 to 17. I beat him every game, and we played, you know, we played in – you know, 25-minute tournaments, five-minute slow tournaments, and he has zero. And he said 30, but I don't think it's 30. But it might be. And then he beat me this just today, and I was like, man, you beat me in the junior, you beat me in the senior, but I, I got you in between. And we laughed. Okay, so I played this, and I realized after I played it that he just plays h4 and I lose. And what's funny is if he doesn't play h4, I lose. I thought, my queen's coming here, my knight's coming here, I'm going to open the g-file, and the engine's like, you're just completely lost. It doesn't matter what he does. So I just didn't understand the game at all. And he played here, and I realized now I was lost. I can't do anything now. I have no legal moves. This is the worst position ever. The rook can come here, the bishop, knight here, bishop here. He can try to win my e-pawn. He can play h5, h6, which wins immediately. I mean, I didn't know what to do here. I couldn't find a move. And the engine says, like, he's plus nine. That's why I couldn't find a move. Now I realized how lost I was. And, like, three moves ago, I thought I was fine. So very bad understanding. Very bad. Yeah. Yeah, the computer can suggest what it wants, but get my ass kicked. You know. Yeah, I like Doug Eckert. I knew Doug Eckert before you were born. St. Louis assassin must be Doug Eckert. He must be. Yeah. Knight G E6 here and trade everything. What are you guys talking about? Oh, Jesus Christ. Back one move. What are you guys talking about? Trade everything. What are you talking about? There's never a 96 ever. It's never going to happen. It just hangs my night. 
Yeah, you, you guys need like new engines or you know a GM to sit next to you to yell at you. Yeah, what are you guys talking about? <laughs> There's no trading. I'm just giving my pieces away. What do you mean by trading? There's a pawn on D5. Yeah. Then I take his bishop. Is it, is it a magical bishop? He plays bishop takes D2. What? Yeah, I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, back, 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 to, back to the lock with you, Nessie. Yeah, you just donate. Don't analyze. Yeah. No, it doesn't matter what I do on lost. Yeah. Yeah, I can't win the bishop. The the bishop takes my queen. Oh. Oh. All right, you guys are all banned. All of you. Also, you you guys in the chat proving you're not grandmasters or IMs or masters or experts or above a thousand is you don't you don't say like in this position you should play these moves. You're like, take the bishop, take a pawn, knight goes in the middle. That, that's not how chess works. Just say the moves. You can't say, like, you know, take that and do that. I don't know what you're talking about. Say, like, knight e6, d6, queen d2, and I didn't see bishop d2, and my engine didn't either. I don't know. All right. No, I mean, my position is, like, it's plus 1,000 for him. Yeah, it's resignable, but I don't want to resign. Okay, so... Yeah, now I played this so I could play knight d6. Then my pawn's hanging, so I played back. And then, yeah, and here I resigned because I, I had 30 seconds left. I thought for like four minutes here and I couldn't find a legal move. Every move lost everything. Every move I looked at lost all my pieces. I, could, I couldn't. And if you look at the engine, it says, like, he's plus 14. You know, so here I resigned because I didn't see a move that didn't lose immediately. My intention when I played um, this was to go here and then get my rook in the game. But, I mean, everything wins for him, Bishop H. But I didn't know what to do against rook e6. Except resign. So, yeah. Takes, takes, threatening checkmate, and this. Right, he's plus a thousand. Yeah, I mean, this this is a good time to resign. I could have resigned earlier. I just can't move anything here. My king's getting mated. My h pawn's hanging. Dark squares are no good. Knights attacked. Pass pawn. These pieces haven't moved. This is a big threat, and this is a threat, and this is a, another threat. Is this threatening to go here? Yeah, so I just resigned. Resigning was the best. Um, yeah. All right, good, good chat, good chat. Uh, all right, I guess I'll just eat. Like, I'll have to go down and she'll bring it up, but I have no reason to keep streaming. Okay, my next game is at 7. It's 4.20. So it's 420. You guys know what to do. And, uh, you know, thanks for watching and so forth. This is a disaster.